All right. Um, so this Marsh Titan, Viku, a towering feathered serpent. It has a round shell and it moves deliberately. Its carmine feathers are fluffed out. Beware its webs. So its webs are kind of scary. Where is it? All right. So it's down in the bottom of the map. We'll let it keep. We'll, we'll go back and we'll finish that after. But I need them to get this stuff out of here. I need them to get out of there. Okay. I need the dwarves to go inside. And I need to station my military in two places. This area and then this area. Actually, you know what? Act, let, let's, let's scratch that. We're going to put these guys up here. And then the bigger, better squad down here. Ramps are our friend. Webs are the enemy. Let's defend this fortress. I <laughs> think that was your first time seeing one too? Yeah, well. So many animals. Um, well, that's uh, noble. That's not under my control. Same with that. So, uh, unfortunately, we've lost two visiting nobles. The Titan. Are my soldiers in place? Yes, they are. The creature uh, goes down and kills another noble. Run away, dwarf. A noble sacrifice. I... Yep, they bravely ran away too. Stupid noodle. My door is over here. Although if it does take the side door, we can lock it in. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Okay, Dumbo's coming over here now. Send it at the next siege. Uh, if it goes that way. It seems to be killing uh, more nobles. Oh no, this one's killing an Ibex. Maybe it realizes that... <laughs> Good lord, what are you? You're just a random peasant? Okay, well, you're just, you're just peasants ignoring the mandate of like, don't go outside, you doofuses. Oh, apparently I have more peasants. Or die. I mean, that's fine too. Goodbye, dwarf. Hardly knew ye. Like, literally, I never even met ye. Like, the front door is right there. I mean, you don't have to. It's obviously optional that you walk into my fort. Oh, boy. Um, turn around, dwarf. Or don't. Okay. That's fine. We'll get you buried in a min. Uh, don't ask me why all these dwarves are outside. I have no idea. <laughs> like, genuinely, at this point, I have no idea. Who? What the f- None of these are even my dwarves. These are all just visitors. <laughs> Guys, like, stay away from the giant web spitting noodle. It's not friendly. It's not a puppy dog. And no, you can't pet it. Okay, here we go. Ryo Shincat is asleep. Just thought I'd inform you guys of this. Um, Fob is probably dead. The Marsh Titan. Okay, uh, it gets bashed by Jangles with a silver warhammer. Uh, it just bit a Baroness. Uh, Jangles seems to have gotten a hit in and then dodged. Um, they're now above it and below it. So ramps are our friend in this fight. They can't shoot up. They can only shoot flat so they can only shoot it, it basically these two dwarves are now safe well this one isn't because they're these two dwarves are currently webbed but this one is safe basically um this human is not this dwarf is not also this dwarf is asleep so ryo shin cat might just die right here which would actually make me really sad because ryo shin cat's a good dwarf uh two dwarves are found dead uh zeroy jenkins the human who's currently getting webbed um kicked the marsh titan in the head with his left foot uh bruising the fat and uh, the Jenkins then stabs the Marsh Titan in the head with a steel spear, fracturing the skull. Uh, have you gotten any more hits in? Jangles uh, screamed, this is my fight too. This might require an answer. And uh, bash the Marsh Titan in the right eyelid with her silver warhammer. Force pulls the head and bashes the Marsh Titan in the body with her silver warhammer, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. Jangles then bashes the Marsh Titan in the body with her silver warhammer, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. And we're going to move the game forward by a few turns. Nobody's dead yet. Uh, Ryo Shincat's still asleep. And uh, let's see. The rest of the dwarves jump on. And um, seems like uh, Moses over here is also snoozing. And uh, I see bits and pieces fly everywhere. Hopefully it's the monster's bits and pieces and not Ryo Shincat's bits and pieces. Ryo Shincat is heavy bleeding and webbed. Uh, this might be where Ryo Shincat dies. Um, Ryo Shincat... Uh, stabbed the Marsh Titan in the body with a steel spear and um, then got bit and got shaken around, bit again. And uh, that's not good. I'm going to let if uh, Ryo Shincat has now passed and is now a mangled corpse, but died gloriously, I will say. Wow, okay. I, I, I suppose this is just the world we live in now. Uh, the Dark Hunter zombie uh, is joining in with the fight and shooting icicles at the creature. Um, our loyal guard dog has been here for some time now and then vanishes in somewhere? 
I guess it's like where where is its body? Is it did it, did it, did it die here somewhere? Um, <laughs> I'm assuming it died. It seems to have been unexisted. Uh, the spinning icicle hits the Marsh Titan in the shell, and the attack glances away. Okay. But where where is it? <laughs> okay, no, it's still. Oh, I see it. It's going down the stairs. So I've lost a good chunk of squad two. Remember how we were talking about like what could actually kill this fort? Well, something like this. What are you doing, Mincot? Mincot? Mincot! I hardly knew ye. So the current uh, death count is Jangles, Ryo Shinkat, and Zeroy Jenkins. Fortunately, there's a scary distract goblin to make it move. It's trouble? I mean, okay, how injured is it? It's pretty heavily bruised. It's got a fractured spine. Should I just lock the door? Okay, you know what? Actually, we we I've decided that this this thing is maybe a bit much. I'm gonna pull this lever, and we're gonna make it go in the side door. Let's see if we can get it locked before it makes it in. Have we pulled the lever yet? Okay, well, I'm trying to pull the lever. Okay, we're still finding more things dead, which means things are actively dying. Where is the angry noodle? I think we might actually be in Operation Trap It. Okay, now it should go in. It's right there. The, our front door is right here. Perfect. There better not be anybody in the tunnel, or you're getting trapped in there with it. And now let's hope we can get the gate shut in time. Oh, Rara's back. Well, this person needs to die anyway because they convinced somebody to steal something once. And I wasn't able to interrogate it out of them. But I'm convinced... Uh, they stole something. So you know what? This is fitting, even. I will say. This is pretty fitting. It should absolutely, uh, kill Rara, the cave fish person. So goodbye, Rara, you, uh, criminal mastermind. Um, let's see, you got bit in the head, bruising the skin through the small rock, small iron helm. Oh, wow, they have small clothing? I didn't even know that. Uh, an artery has been opened by the attack, and a tendon in the skull has been torn. And there goes a goblin. But uh, fortunately for us, it is trapped inside the, the walkway now. So now we can figure out what to do with it. Anyway, it's now no longer an issue. We did lose a good chunk of our military, though. Which is kind of an issue. So I'm... Turn that on just to help. What's the light bulb icon? This? Oh, it, it means that um, our squalor, our sco squalor, <laughs> our scholar discovered something. Made a discovery. Ghost bat made a discovery. Ghost bat dis discovered that disease do in fact exist. So congratulations, ghost bat, on discovering the fact that disease do in fact exist. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure that's a bit from Austin from a movie, but I couldn't remember what. I've never actually seen any of the Austin Powers movies. Um, because I've tried a couple of times and I stop about 10 minutes in because I remember that I do not think they are even remotely funny. So, come on, critter. This isn't a forgotten beast. This is a titan. It's going to its new home, obviously. All right, it lives here now. This is its home now. And it's going to make webs for us by doing this and scaring the ever-living piss out of this poor beak dog for all eternity. Um, and then we pull this lever, and two things will happen. It'll slam this shut so we can't see it, and it'll unlock this door so we can go gather the webs. Hold on, what? Its guts is broken. Its guts is broken. Its shell is fractured, its body is dented, its body is rotten. It is rotting. Its left lung is rotten, and its neck is dented. Well, I mean, it might also die of infection, and then bang, that happens. And now we can run in and gather all these. Great. Easy peasy. All right, so now I can deconstruct half this crap. It did have its intestines pulled out of its body. This is true. Well, 
Noodle, if you promise not to bite anybody, I'll send you a doctor, okay? But you definitely won't. Yeah, we've got so much pigtail cloth, but I think I'll just promote uh, collect webs on two of these. <laughs> 